We are in storm alert here again this evening across the by state area and the bottom line is we're at a bit of a lull as expected, but there is more winter weather on the way for the area and later tonight really as we head towards 11 o'clock midnight, you're going to see the snow really start to pick up once again from the south and southwest. And I know for some of you, especially uh, if you're from St. Louis and south and southeast of the arch, you're saying, man, this has been like a dud so far. Well, yeah, you're, you're right, but um, what comes later tonight into tomorrow will make up for that and you will still have this significant impact across the bi-state area. So we'll break it down for you here as we go through the evening hours. Right now we are talking about looking out at Lambert where the temperature is 19 degrees. What you don't see here, a lot of planes. There's just not a lot of aircraft out there at the moment because most of the flights have been canceled given the impending weather for tonight and not only that, but weather elsewhere across the middle part of the country. So the crews are actually out there working on getting the runways in good shape for the next round uh, so that they're ready to plow again and can get things back to being squared off, uh, you know, in pretty good shape for tomorrow. Now, some of the numbers we have for you, Louisiana, Missouri, Frankfort, Missouri, Pike County, over 10 inches in places there. Here's the thing, you won't get as much with the next round, but you're still going to be pushing that 12 to 15 inch range up in Pike County, maybe northern portions of Lincoln County too. St. Paul coming in with six inches, about the same in Wentzville. You can look from our weather cameras around the area and you can see that there is snow and sleet on the ground. The thickest of which out of these uh, shots would be down around Wentzville. You look in Farmington and over into Highland, it was more of a mixture, especially in Farmington. And even in the city, much more of a mixture with the freezing rain and sleet. And as a consequence, um, you know, you don't have as much snow on the ground. But again, we're going to make up for that later tonight into early tomorrow. So here are the temperatures. Everybody's cold. Warrington's down to 15. Vandalia's 15. That's Vandalia, Missouri. Vandalia, Illinois is 19. Greenville's 19. We have had some power problems off to the east of St. Louis. Um, it seems like the greatest number of outages was over in Clinton County, and that was largely due to the freezing rain that we had earlier this morning and some of the gusty winds and that created some of the issues that we've been seeing. So the first wave moving on out, sliding off to the north and east. And so here comes the second wave in from the southwest and it's going to slide right up Highway 44. Already starting to see this snow breaking out down towards Joplin. Some snow and sleet mixed Tulsa down towards Fayetteville. And you look at the moisture with this, it's pretty impressive stretching down into Oklahoma along the Red River down into Texas, and that's all headed our way. So we have additional moderate to heavy snow, which will develop in the hours after midnight. And this go round, at least for the metro area, we think it's all snow. So you're not getting your tutti frutti uh, bars here like we had last night where we had the green for rain and the purple for freezing rain and the mix with pink and then eventually blue for the snow. It's all snow here in St. Louis, we think, for this next wave. Now, it won't be for everybody. Some areas south and east of St. Louis will still get a bit of a mix of sleet with this as we head through the wee hours tomorrow morning. Now, the winter storm warning continues for the entire area through tomorrow, especially midday, longer than that off to the southeast of St. Louis. Here we are at midnight. Here comes a surge of moisture right up 44. Notice, if you will, down in Reynolds County, really on a line from Centerville up towards Ironton, Farmington, over towards St. Genevieve, Chester, Illinois, over to Nashville. Right in that area, you're going to see the mixture to sleet and kind of a sleet snow mix and maybe some heavier sleet just south of that where it's all sleet and then just north of it where it goes to all snow. It'll actually be the band of the heaviest snow in that area as we head through the early hours tomorrow morning. We are going to be in this heavier band of snow, which includes most of the metro through tomorrow morning's rush hour. Now, the areas that saw the heaviest snow in the first wave from Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, this time around you're only talking about maybe two to four inches north and west of Troy up towards Herman and back up towards 
Bowling Green. So that'll get you in that 10 to 15 inch range. But then as you get closer into the metro area, four to eight inches of additional snow and then four to eight inches of snow and sleet off to the south and southeast of St. Louis with some localized higher amounts in there, especially perhaps as we head down you know, Crawford County, Washington County, Jefferson County, Monroe, St. Clair counties. As we cross over the river areas just south and southeast of St. Louis, that's where we have the greatest potential for seeing some of the heavier snow amounts. And that's going to be right on that border where we're mixing with and changing over to sleet. So if you can stay off snow right in that heavy zone of precip, then it really adds up and it'll be a pretty fluffy snow. And so the map that we came out with, this is the, the map we had um, from you know a couple of days ago. This was our, our forecast map that we came out with on Monday. Uh, the only changes, we, we've tweaked it a little bit, but not a lot. The only changes were we dropped the, the upper band up there in Troy up to Jerseyville down to 10 to 15 inches because most of you are in that six to, to 11 inches right now. So we don't think you're going to get as much as we go through overnight into tomorrow as what we will in the St. Louis area. So we're still thinking your totals, you know, a lot of St. Charles County has four to six inches right now. Well, you get another four to eight inches and that's going to push you in that eight to 12 pretty quickly. And then because we didn't get as much snow south and east of St. Louis because you had more of that wintry mix, you know, fresh four to eight inches of snow is going to put you in that thing. So we're, we're, we're pretty close to where we thought we would be on the overall storm totals here going into tomorrow. I haven't changed this map a whole lot um, and really don't anticipate changing the map a whole lot uh, as we go into tomorrow. There'll be some pockets of heavier snow. It develops later tonight, continues into tomorrow, and there will be some gusty winds that we have to deal with tomorrow out of the north at 15 miles per hour, gusting to 30 miles per hour. So, you know, there's that. And that 30 mile per hour wind gust periodically tomorrow, that's going to blow that light fluffy snow around. And it's really going to make for a challenge with our road crews trying to scrape all this stuff off, especially on north, south or east, I should say east, west highways, because the wind's going to be out of the north. So it's just going to keep blowing the snow in the open areas right back onto the roads after the plows go by. So our road crews are a little stressed by this scenario and the fact that it's it's really cold. I mean, we're talking only low 20s tomorrow for highs and we'll be down around 10 11 degrees here early on Friday and back into the 20s with some sunshine on Friday afternoon. But uh, Friday night into Saturday, we could have some refreezing. We'll be down in the single numbers, both above and below zero. So Again, um, the bottom line here is that we are in a scenario that's playing out where we're going to get another round of wintry weather and it's mostly going to be snow, the heaviest of which probably right along, maybe along and just south of 44. So again, that place is it, you know, as you come up from Merrimack State Park up towards Babbler and then right down towards Arnold going into Jefferson County. That's where we're looking at some of this heavier snow and you know we already have the hilly terrain and uh, those weavy windy roads, especially, you know, MoDOT goes with the interstates and then they go with the state routes that are numbered and then they get to the lettered routes in their pecking order of plowing. And so you can bet that those lettered routes um, south and southwest of St. Louis, where we're going to see some of that heavier snow overnight and into tomorrow morning. That was going to be all mode I can do to keep, you know, the interstates open, at least a lane or two of the interstates halfway decent, and maybe like your 141, your Highway 30, 21, that sort of thing going south of St. Louis. You get the lettered routes, you, you know the drill. If you don't have four-wheel drive, it's usually not a good option, and it won't be certainly later tonight and tomorrow morning. Once the snow lets up and the plow drivers and the road crews can get out and do some of their business, I think at that point we may see some improvement. I think that'll be happening later tomorrow afternoon. Now the winter storm warning is in effect for the entire area, and we're not, it's, it's not just us. This goes all the way from Texas and New Mexico all the way up into Michigan through the Ohio Valley, you know, Cleveland, Western New York, all the way up into Maine. So it's a big, long stretch of, of nasty winter weather with this system. It has a lot of impacts, and that includes travel impacts, 
So if you've ordered something on Amazon, you know, and you're thinking that's going to be here, I'm, I'm going to get it right away. Well, it probably isn't going to come quite as fast as you expected it to. If you've placed a, an order, it's just going to be delayed. Can't get here if there's not a flight coming in. If you're trying to get out of town, be proactive with your airline. Um, you know, a lot of flights are out of place for the next couple of days, which means they're going to be rebooking people into the weekend. So if you're traveling this weekend, you already have your reservation. That's great. If you don't, you know, it may be hard to actually get a reservation because people are getting shifted around. They're trying to rebook people, re, you know, reestablish who's going to get where and reconnect people all over the place. So there's a lot going on behind the scenes with the airline workers and the folks at the airport, the road crews trying to do their jobs too. And MoDOT and IDOT have both said the same thing. If you don't have to be out, um, you know, don't. So that they can take care of the roads and that the people that do have to get to work can actually not have as many people on the roads um, fighting for those lanes and creating additional problems. So that's where we stand tonight. We're in the lull right now. We'll be in that lull until about 10 o'clock. Come 10 o'clock, um, between 10 o'clock and midnight, I think we're going to be watching the radar come to life southwest of St. Louis and do think most of it is going to be snow this time in the metro and a very light, fluffy snow. So one that will blow around with those gusty winds tomorrow. Of course, you can find us online uh, anytime at KSDK.com and with the Five on Your Side app. And we'll be continuing to monitor things tomorrow, a long edition, expanded to edition of today in St. Louis. Anthony and Monica, of course, probably stealing most of the show tomorrow morning with traffic and weather continuously almost, as that's what's going to be driving uh, the situation here for the next couple of days. All right, you guys be safe, stay warm. If you're going out sledding, lots of layers, maybe some hot chocolate, and uh, take it easy. Stay safe on those roads if you have to be out. Late tonight, early tomorrow morning, big problems. We're still in storm alert.